Welcome to this presentation on Team Centre Rapid Start. Videos in the Team Centre Rapid Start series cover the introduction to Rapid Start, using the rich client, concepts of Team Centre, searching within Team Centre, working with items and working with data sets, a brief introduction to workflows, I'll be showing the structure manager and then the engineering order workflow supplied with Rapid Start. In Structure Manager, you can create, view and modify a product structure, sometimes called a bill of materials. An indented view of the assemblies and piece parts that comprise the product structure illustrates the relationship between the assemblies and the piece parts. You can build, view and manipulate the product structure in Structure Manager, or you can import it from an MCAD system such as NX. Using Structure Manager, you can visualise assemblies, make visual comparisons and analyse clearances and tolerances. To view a structure, the user can simply select the item or item revision of an assembly, right click and select Send to the Structure Manager. The Structure Manager shows the assembly in a table representing an indented bill of materials. User-defined columns can display attribute information about each occurrence. The screen layout can be split to show a multi-CAD visualisation of the assembly. The revision status of items shown in the assembly is dynamically controlled by rules. Currently the assembly components are shown as the latest working rule. The green background shows the assembly was saved in a precise form. The rule, latest working, will show the precise configuration of the assembly, if available, else the unreleased in-work versions of the files. I can change the rule to another rule called working. This rule will display the current in-work state of the parts else the latest released revisions. I'll change to a new rule showing only those parts that have gone through a release process. Now I will do a comparison of two assemblies and compare the changes between the two structures find the assembly to be compared to. Now I will set two different revision rules, precise working and released only. Next run the compare command. The two components at different revision levels in each assembly are reported. For more information, please watch the next video in the introduction to Team Centre Rapid Start series.